so I got tickets for the Brian Adams concert and I'm excited and sad so the person I normally go with isn't feeling well my partner can't come with me because we have a little kid so I was like should I waste the tickets and not go or should I go so I'm in my kids room folding some laundry that I had put to wash before I left for work today but I don't want to waste the tickets but imagine I'm just thinking going to this concert and everyone there singing all these nice love songs mind you I know a few of his songs I love the words and the beats I don't know a lot out of my head but I love his like his whole vibe it looks so nice like he's long before my time but like the songs they are so oh if you're hopeless romantic they will touch your heart which they did <laughs> but I don't want to waste the tickets but going by myself and then people beside me is like singing and dancing and loving on each other I probably should bring a stuffy yeah that's it solution I'll bring a stuffy and I'll sing to the stuffy because I don't want to waste the tickets and I don't know who else to go with ah you know what? Just get ready with me. Let's just go. Let's just go. You know I got 16 albums, right? <laughs> it's a good thing. My nails has grown up quite a bit. This is about three weeks of nail growth. So I honestly think it looks really good for, for three weeks. This is one hand. My hands are so dry, I just washed it. So I just added some moisture to my hands. Look how much better it looks. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is the other hand. See, it's just as grown out as the other as my left hand so see really dry but hey i'm going to my nail tech to get my nails done uh, i have a design in mind uh, so hopefully she does a good job okay let's go i didn't know i learned something new today though yeah. because i did not know that can mm. you imagine Stop. <laughs> Yeah, but it's oh. something in it though, it makes you want it. Like, I'll be like, no it's coke, like and it's like, yeah, it's like, I, I need it. It's like it's a like, drug. Uh, it's 
so good. Yes, they have to put something in it for everyone worldwide to just have the same thing. I need the coat. Right? Everyone loves coat. Okay, so I just came back from getting my nails done and I absolutely love it. Look at it. And this is my other hand. Do you see the little sparkles? I'm really happy getting my nails done is just one of the things that I do for myself. I normally get them done uh, once or twice per month. Most time once. I used to do it twice per month but I think it was too hard on my nail beds. But this is amazing definitely makes my day when I do it. It's just that me thing that I do for me. So yeah. So I just finished doing my makeup. It's an everyday makeup look. I am going to my company's Christmas party with my daughter, as you can hear in the background. But anyway, this is the perfume I'm going to wear and I'm going to address the collar. I normally turn it inside out so that makeup don't get on it. You know, when you're brown. Makeup will end up on your clothes, especially if it's light color. Anyways, put some on. This is my everyday perfume, as you can see. This is the one I generally grab if I'm going to the grocery, to work, you name it. This is the one I normally use, and it's the wanted. So, get some earrings in and finish packing my bag. I'll show you what are the things I normally put into my bag when I'm going out with her. And then we head out, okay? So normally when I'm going out with her, I bring this backpack. I got it at Winners. This is a Roots backpack and I absolutely love it. It's very spacious. It's, it can hold so many things, my wallet, my phone, you name it. But anyway, I like to put my hand sanitizer. I have my Body Shop Moisture Lotion for my hand. I never go out without these wet wipe wipes. I got them at the dollar store for buck twenty-five. Perfect for kids. Always having our hands and our face messy. And I also got this at the dollar store, which is toilet seat covers. To me, I hate the idea of <laughs> my daughter sitting on public toilet, and she's now too tall for me to lift her as I did when she was younger. So now she, and of course, at her age, she goes by herself. I just stand outside the door. So I normally put this on the seat and then let her be. Look at those big snowflakes that's coming down. Oh my gosh, I'm on my way to bring my daughter to uh, the Christmas party that my company is having. So normal and normally they have a uh, yearly Christmas party for them. So this year they're doing movies, Santa, but the snow, it wasn't snowing yesterday. Yesterday was actually nice. Yesterday was seven degrees out. Which is very good. But now it's three degrees Celsius. Now it's pretty cold and the snow is coming down and this as the week progresses it's gonna get worse. So this is what I'm driving in to go to the party. It doesn't look as bad through the phone, but it's really horrible. This is the time and the party starts at 1 p.m. So I am pretty late. And to make it worse, look at my gas. It's on empty. It was on empty yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get gas today. And I totally forgot. One thing when you're driving, when it comes on to snow and it's super cold, is to make sure your gas cylinder is not on empty because it's easier for you to freeze that way. Right, your gas tank. But I did not want to stop to get myself. Look at the, the, the parking spots. I didn't want to. Yeah, I think that's for disability. Yeah. 
Oh, I gotta park here. Gosh, why do people park so badly? Okay, I'll park there. Gotta park, but yeah, I'm not so keen about this because when I'm leaving, it's gonna be super cold and I don't have enough gas. So I'm just hoping I have enough gas to bring me to the gas station after. But anyways, let's go. Okay, she's running in. Oh, and look at me. Come take a picture with me quickly. Okay, we're right here. I'm late, so let's go. Oh, that way. So where's number four? Hi. Hello there. I just need your mom's first name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. I really high ones and I don't have pointy pieces. That's okay. But, but I still have a heel, but it's not really high. That's okay, but we are still wearing boots, right? Yeah. Oh, we're talking. We wasn't beating. So we both have sweater dresses on. Look, mine's really colorful. Okay. That's yours. Yeah, it's pretty colorful. Cute boots. Yeah. Okay. Wait one second. Keep right there. <laughs> what do you think we're watching? The Minions slash Super Pets. Do you think we're watching the Minions slash Super Pets? Yeah. Mm. Yep, it's a little. The Grinch! <laughs> I guess that. Say all of a sudden. Because something's telling me I should stay. <laughs> there. What movie did you watch? The Grinch. Oh, you're talking to us. Gotta listen. Special appearance for you guys. Are you excited? Yeah. Two things that Santa have given away a gift that he would bring on Christmas. Yeah. I'm sure Santa would be prepared. I think the company just spoke to him and he's like, I have extra gifts I'm going to bring for the kids, right? So I think you'll still bring gifts for Christmas. No? I don't know. See? Santa and his house. Whoa. Are you excited, sweetheart? Okay. <laughs> Good observation, okay. It's almost your turn, it's almost your turn. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Izzy, are you excited? What did you get from Santa? Let me see. Ah, okay. Is it for me? Yours? <laughs> what? There's two? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think that's Santa's brother. Do you think it's Santa's brother? Could be. Uh, hi. Excuse me. Hi. Do you want to go and take a picture? Okay, what's the process? Um, you just go on up and take the picture. They print right away. Okay. Do you want to do it, Izzy? You want me to? Okay. Oh, you use your manners. Where we pay. I also got from Santa candy cane. Candy cane. So nice. So Santa has a brother. Twin. Now we know. Twin. Oh, Santa is a twin. That's how they. Now we know the secret. That's how Santa get everywhere. He has a twin. Yeah. Now we know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, kid. We are going home in the blizzard. I guess you don't mind because you got a gift. You think we should have stayed home possibly? No? So, <laughs> okay. I can dance Look at it. Whoa. I can dance at this. Look at, Izzy, look at it through this. Look. You can see it falling. Do you see it? 
Kinda cool. Look here, V, look. Ah! <laughs> They're really big. Oh, uh, I guess so. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come, we're going. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find a gas station. I know there's one around here. I don't want to go on the main road without some gas. Yep, I found it. Jeez. This is bad. Look at the blizzard. My windshield is hot because I have the heater on it, so that's why it's melting. But honestly, it's it's bad outside. Okay, so I made it home. Outside is a blizzard. It's only get, gonna get worse for the rest of the week. And She's gonna open her gifts, and I think this is a perfect weather, and you can agree with me for soup. So I'm gonna just make some chicken, some Jamaican chicken soup. So watch me yeah, open okay. Thing. Let's watch her open her thing. Okay, so she wants to show you what she got from Santa. Ah. Okay. Okay, what did you get? Let me see. It's mom eating the baby Hatchimals. Ooh, this is a good gift from Santa. And look how big this one is. Whoa. Eight and older surprises inside. Eight and more surprises inside. Are you excited? <gasps> it's a house! Oh, that's cool. That's different. And it can be a bus. Let me see. This is so exciting and cool. Well, aren't you a lucky one? So Santa did, so Santa delivered a good gift for you? Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. Okay, so with this weather, do you think it's the best thing to make soup right now? Okay, gonna make some soup. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients I'm gonna use to make my chicken soup. So I have the Grace cock soup mix, and I also have the Grace chicken noodle mix. I normally do half and half. I really love spice. My daughter doesn't love spice. I wish she did. Then I would add, you know, two of this. But to balance it off, I'm using the chicken noodle and I don't have any scotch bonnet pepper because I'm not only cooking for myself, my daughter does not like spice. I don't know what she's going to do when we go to the Caribbean. But anyways, i got my Irish potato. I have my thyme and I have about eight pimento seeds in here. I got my scallion, it's called chives, whatnot here. Cut off the roots and you wash those. You, I have my carrots, which I will chop to put in the soup. I got my Himalayan salt, you can use any salt. Sea salt if you have. I have, I'm not like advertising for any brand, but I like to use um, broth, chicken broth, that is 30% reduced sodium. It's heart healthy. And it's just better for overall health because I don't cook with a lot of salt anyways. I have my flour. This is about one cup to make your spinners. Sometimes I add more. So normally I have my water and my flour. And I add it in and I just keep adding more flour and water until it reached the consistency that I like. And of course I have my chicken thigh. So I have skinned it. Uh, there's no bone in it. And I have taken off as much fat as I can from it because it's healthier that way. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I saw this. So with Jamaican chicken noodle soup, there's normally pumpkin. And I was looking online like what's the substitute for it. And I saw butternut squash. And I was in the grocery a few days ago and I saw that they had frozen diced butternut squash. So that will take out the whole chore of trying to cut up this butternut that looks so different from the pumpkin that I'm used to growing up. 
So I'm gonna use this and hopefully it tastes good. So if you prefer, you can put the full 10 cups of broth, but I like to do eight cups of broth, two cups of plain water, and that's just a preference that I have. Either or, I've done it either way, but that's just, I just prefer it that way. I just feel like I'm using less salt. Okay, so we put the water in, then I put it to boil. Okay, so now we're gonna add the chicken to the pot. Okay, so I have put the chicken in for about, let's say about five minutes now I have the chicken in. And now I'm gonna put about one cup of frozen butternut squash. And I am going to also put in my, look at the, the fat that's bubbled off from the chicken. Imagine if you don't take off all the, the fat and skin. Anyways, fat in, okay, some more pimento seeds in it. So I'll leave it to boil for 30 minutes. That's the flour, and you add water, and you keep making it into a paste, and eventually the paste will turn into a well. And then you'll have your, your things ready to make your spinner. So let's do that. So this, when you're fully, this is what it should look like. Nice and soft. Now I'm gonna add my carrots, scallion, and you stir it up. Okay, so this is my chopped Irish potato. Then I put in my thyme. Mmm, smells so good. So you don't just pour the cock soup directly into the pot. It will coagulate and be lumpy. So I like to just add it into that. And then you mix it with some cold water. And as I said, I wanted to mix in some chicken soup with it. So let's add that. So I don't have all the chicken soup in it. I just add a bit. Okay, mix it together. And add some cold water to it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It will help add flavor and color to the soup. So let's pour it in. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So after you pour it in, you stir it around. So can you take about this amount? And then you just roll it. Then you get it nice. It doesn't have to be perfect, but something like that. And then you drop it in. And you keep doing that until you're done with your spinners. See, the spinners don't have to be perfect. Look at that one. It looked like a duck or like someone knocking for six. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. Oh. Look at all those spinners. Oh my goodness. See? And I tasted it and to me it's just right. Oh, the only thing missing is corn. This little girl doesn't like corn. But normally what I'll do is boil my corn in it and just serve it and don't give her any corn. But didn't get any corn today. But that's okay. So let's do the taste test. Let it simmer. So let's just get everything marinating together. So it wasn't burned. This has always been my favorite soup. Why? Because it's dumpling and also, there's meals and carrots and whatever this thing is and chicken. <laughs> okay, and you like it? That's what I did. Do you like it? I love it. It's good.